to your wedding day. This is the real deal, okay? So take a deep breath. Friends, we're gathered here this day before God, before you, to unite Brandon Smith, Colby Dukes in marriage, and to celebrate with the two of you the joy of your union as you pledge your love, your respect, and your commitment each to the other. To show support for this marriage, I do now ask, who gives this woman's hand in marriage to this man today? Her mom and I do. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you can come on. You can keep your okay for now. Well, guys, as we start here today, I want you both to stop for just a second. I want you to think about something. It's a very big world we live in. There are millions, millions, and millions of people that live on this planet. And of all of those people, two of them are standing right here, right now, in front of each other at the marriage altar. That's a miracle when you think about two very separate lives are joined together. And I got to tell you today too, Brandon, I just saw the proposal video and man, you knocked it out of the park with that one as well. That was awesome. And I heard the whole story about going to the, to the store with dad to pick out the ring and everything. You guys, it's truly a blessing to be in front of you here today. And you know what the two of you are saying to each other? You're saying out of all of these millions of people, I choose you and I choose you to spend the rest of my life with. Marriageable is an, marriage is an honorable estate. It's created by God. It signifies unto us the union between a man and a woman, which also exists between Christ and his church. Brandon and Colby, only love will maintain a marriage. Mankind did not create love. Love is created by God. Love is freely given and it's freely accepted, just as God's love is unconditional and it's free. I want the two of you to know today that there's no human institution more special than the home you're gonna create. No vows are more solemn than those you're going to speak to each other. Today, I'm going to encourage you to let tenderness, kindness, and gentleness be your highest priorities always. If you will guard those virtues in your marriage, I promise you, your hearts will stay bound to each other. Let's have a word of prayer. Let's ask God to bless this ceremony. Father, we pause right now, and God, first of all, just thank you for a beautiful day out here on Navarre Beach. We know that you are smiling down today upon this occasion. God, I pray over these next few minutes, I pray especially that Brandon and Kobe will be able to, God, just settle in right now and remember this, this moment in time, this day for many, many years to come. So God, bless this time. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'd like to give you guys a little guidance today from God's Word. This is from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. It's often referred to as the love passage in the Bible. This is what God's Word says. It says, love is patient and love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects. It always hopes. It always perseveres. Love never fails. And I want you both today, especially to grab on those last three words the Apostle Paul gives us, that love never fails. You know, every time I read this scripture, God has given us a definition of what true love is in his word. And God's definition, he says love is patient, love is kind. And the definition goes on from there, but I have to be honest with the two of you today, as much as this is God's definition of what true love is, Brandon, I promise you, there's gonna come a day where this lovely bride of yours is not going to be patient with you. Maybe not even kind to you. You guys have been together a year and a half or so. You've probably experienced this already at some point. You know, we have bad days, right? So if you guys don't always do the things that God says defines true love, do you love each other? And of course we know the answer to that question. Yes, yeah, you love each other. So how do we make this work? Later in God's word, the book of 1 John, God says that he himself is love. My advice to the two of you today, it's very simple. Love never fails because God never fails. Put him in your marriage. It's gonna make your marriage much more love filled. Second piece of advice, just some good old fashioned advice. All the old married couples will tell you this one. If you have a bad day, spoiler alert, you're gonna have a bad day at some point. <laughs> Stick it out because you have so many good days that are on the heels of that one. You guys have known each other for a while. From that very first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment, at some point along your journey, you decided to get married. And I know that was just recently, actually. And from that moment of yes, when you said, yes, I will marry you, to this moment of yes, you guys are about to share with each other. Indeed, you've been making promises and agreements in an informal way. All those conversations are held riding in the car or over the meals, during those long walks. All those sentences that began with the words, when we're married. I'm sure you said that. They continued with I will, and you will, and we will. 
those late night talks that included the words someday and somehow and maybe. I want you both to understand today that all these common things and more, they're the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows, you're about to say to each other, the way I've seen each other, you know those things we've hoped and we promised and we dreamed, I meant it all, every single word of it. I want the two of you to look at each other right now and I want you to capture this moment in time. Seriously, take just a second here and tuck this moment away in your memory banks forever. Before now, you've been a lot of things to each other. You were classmates that really didn't even know each other. You were acquaintances, you became friends. Even teacher, I'm sure you've learned a lot from each other in the time you've been together. But now you're about to say a very few short things to each other and I promise you, after you say these next few sentences, things are never ever going to be the same again. Because after you say these words to each other, you're gonna tell the rest of the world, this man is my husband and this woman is my wife. It's now time to say those vows to each other. I'm gonna take your bouquet from you now. Thank you. Brandon, you're gonna go first. You can continue to hold her hand, which I know you got your. <clears throat> you, <clears throat> you are the light in my dark. You are my water in the desert. You are my shelter in a blizzard. I love everything about you from your messy bed head <laughs> to the way you snort sometimes when you laugh. I promise to support you on our adventure together, to promise you with all that I can provide. I promise to listen to your advice and occasionally take it. I promise to never keep score, even if I'm winning. <laughs> April 29th, 2018, might have started our adventure together, but today starts our forever. I promise you all the days and all the nights, forever and always, <laughs> till death do we part. That first kiss, that first kiss was all it took for me to know you would be the one I married someday. Then I saw the dad you were to Zoe and I knew I loved you for the man that you are. Not only the goofy, sweet man that brought me flowers, but also the compassion you have for your little girl. My love for you has only gotten stronger with every kiss, every fight, every rough patch, every laugh, with every single day my love has grown. I can't wait for my love to continue to con to grow every single day for the rest of my life. I promise to be the best wife and stepmom I can be. I love Zoe so much and I love you so much. Okay. Put that in your pocket. <laughs> Take the vows. Yeah, you put them in the That's perfect. Yeah. Guys, continue to look at each other, okay? Brandon, repeat after me, looking at her. I, Brandon. I, Brandon. Take you, Colby. Take you, Colby. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. Richer or for poorer. <laughs> in good times and in bad. Good times and in bad. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Your turn, Colby, looking at him. Repeat after me. I, Colby. I, Colby. Take you, Brandon. Take you, Brandon. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Right, take a deep breath. That is the hardest part. It's the word husband. It always gets them <laughs> every time. So, can I have her ring there? Got that. And were you using one of these rings here? That's my still. dad's, that's his. Okay, I don't know how, that was just holding the flowers together. Yeah, that okay. was like okay. my Good. borrowed took, or okay, whatever. Okay, we got it, okay. I got you. Yeah. It's off now, but I'll put <laughs> yeah. it back. Okay. That's fine. I wasn't sure. So, guys, I want you to take a really good look at the rings right here. They're not on your fingers yet. They're about to be. You're about to wear this piece of jewelry for the rest of your lives. And I want you to know, as you put these rings on each other's fingers today, these rings don't make you married. Those vows, those promises that you just spoke to each other from your heart, that's what makes you married. That's what keeps you married. Tuck them away, don't ever forget those. These rings don't give you any kind of extra superpowers that married couples get or anything <laughs> like that. That'd be so cool if it did. 
But these rings do serve a very high and a very significant purpose. First of all, these rings proudly, and they boldly tell the rest of the world, I am off the market. <laughs> I'm taken by this man. I am taken by this woman. They have my heart. So I want you to wear them proudly and boldly. Heck, show them off. Make them a flashing neon <laughs> billboard that screams to the rest of the world, I'm in love with, and I am proud of my spouse. The second thing these rings do, and this is actually probably a little bit more important, they serve as a reminder. Matter of fact, Colby, I don't even think you've had a chance to do this yet. I want you both to take a good look at the people staring at you guys right now. <laughs> I want you to remember their presence here today. They're, they're here to show you they love you and they support you today. I want you to remember this beautiful day you guys got out here on the beach today that are not all like this. You got a really good day today. Remember that. I want you to remember this little five-year-old there is kicking sand over there right now. <laughs> remember her as well. She won't always be five years old. No. I want you to remember everything about this day, but more importantly than the day and even everybody that's here, I want you to remember the love that's in your heart for each other right now. I want you to remember those tears you guys just fought back. Remember all of it. When you look at these rings, whether it be tomorrow, a year, 10, even 50 years from now, go back to this very moment. Let them remind you of this day. Let them remind you of this moment. And most importantly, let them remind you of the vows, the promises that you guys have just spoken to each other right now. Tuck the feeling you have in your heart right now away and let these rings always remind you of what you're feeling right now in this very moment. And one last thing before I give these to you. I want you to think about things you own today, physical possessions, clothing, cars, homes, those kind of things. 50 years from this moment, these rings right here may be your only physical possession you own today that you'll own then. Take care of these. Make them your most prized possession. I promise you they will shine just as brightly then as they do today if you take care of them, as will your marriage, by the way, if you take care of it, okay? Brandon, can you take her rings? It's going to go in her left hand here, and take your time with this. Once again, looking at her, you're repeating after me, okay? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token and pledge. As a token and pledge. Of my constant faith. As my constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. Perfect. So his left hand is the outside hand over there. Take your time looking at him. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token and pledge. As a token and pledge. Of my constant faith. Of my constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. She shoved that ring on the finger. <laughs> you know it's on there, right? Yeah. That's a very good thing, right? You guys have chosen today to celebrate with the Unity Sand Ceremony as well. So I'm going to invite you to come over here to the table with me. And we're going to get Zoe to come up here with us as well. Come on, Zoe. You guys can choose whichever you want. Typically, the bride She's going to get the till. Okay. okay you oh, no. You want your till. Zoe, do you want the middle one? It's yeah. up to you guys. Okay. That's fine. Um, so what I want you to do, you stand over there, we'll give our photographer a little room to work, oh. so you just kind of stand, that's perfect, right that's perfect. There you go. So we'll kind of keep the middle open here. So what I want you guys to do is you take turns with this, okay. um, so you don't, before at the same time, just kind of take turns to get that little candy cane looking effect. Take your time, have fun with this, talk to each other. We've got videoers here and cameras there, so enjoy it, all right? Zoe, you want to be first? Yeah. You want to go Pour first? Pour it up. Pick up the pick it up like yeah. this. Pour up a little bit. You got to watch out. out. Step to the side, baby. Step to the side. There you go. There you go. Pour a little bit in there. A little bit. There you go. Okay, now let's pour some more. And pour this way. Zoe, you gotta, you gotta watch out. Come here. Okay, now daddy goes. Next. Now you, Zoe. Okay, now you go again. You gonna do it? There you go, baby. Pour a good amount in there. Keep yeah. going. Yeah, keep going. There you there go. There you oh, go. Yeah. That looks like a whole lot. That, that is. Was a lot. That was good, though. Okay. My daddy. Okay, now you again. Get it in there. There you go. Okay. <laughs> that looks like a whole lot. That, that is. is. It's okay. And then we'll top it all off. <laughs> Get what we can in there. There we go. Oh. Get it all in there. Okay. There we go. Okay. Hey, baby. Come up here with us. Oh, okay. Come here. Center back for Okay. Perfect. Perfect, guys. I want you guys to understand 
want you guys to understand the symbolism of what you just did here today. You all three poured sand in that container. The sand that you poured in there, it represents your lives up until this point. Your individual lives, even your lives before you met each other. Your backgrounds, your traditions, Kobe, all the things that have made you the woman that you are today. That's what's represented by the color you poured. Same for you, Brandon. Everything's made you the man that you are today. And the same for you, Zoe. Your color is in there mm -hmm. to show everything that's made you uniquely who you are today. And as we can see clearly, we can clearly see all three of those colors are in there. And what that means, as you guys enter into this marriage and into this family, you don't lose who you are. What it quite practically means, Brandon, all those aspirations you've always had, you still have those. Colby, all those hopes, those dreams you've always had, you still have them as well. Zoe, everything you've ever thought about, you can still continue to dream those. But you guys now share those all together. They're now blended together to make something much more beautiful. There's actually a fourth color in there as well, and that's literally sand from this very beach. It's a reminder of where you stood right here today, and you're forming this family unit, okay? So let it be a reminder. Take that home, put it in a prominent place in the house. Let it be a reminder of the blending of your lives, and let it even be a reminder of where you stood here today <laughs> and where you said these vows, these promises to each other, okay? Let me pray for you guys, okay? Let's pray together. Father, we pause right now, and I am about to pronounce this couple husband and wife. Before we do so, I think it's appropriate we take just a second to pray for them. So God, right now, I pray for Brandon. I pray for Colby. I pray for Zoe, God. I pray for their futures together. God, bless this union. Bless this family. God, it's an unknown journey ahead. There's a lot of years here. God, they're going to watch Zoe grow up together. Um, bless them. God, they're committing their lives to doing this thing hand in hand with each other. So bless this union. Bless this marriage. Bless this family. We pray these things in your name. Amen. Amen. So you can go sit over there again. You guys hold hands. Look at each other. It's your big moment. Brandon and Colby, today you guys have come. You have said your vows to each other. You've exchanged the rings to remember this day by. Because you have done that in the presence of God and your family and friends here, it's now my distinct honor to pronounce that you are indeed husband and wife. Brandon, let's seal these vows and kiss your bride. I love you. I love you Okay. Hold on for me one second. Okay. You guys just look that way. Family, my pleasure, my honor to introduce officially to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Brandon and Colby Smith. Congratulations. Aww.